Hey, everybody. Long time no speak. Um, I'm going to read this quote. This is like probably my, over the years, probably the most popular or most shared quote. Um, and I've probably talked about it a bunch of times, but I just feel like it's just like such an important piece of sort of interpretation and in, insight. Um, it's from the book Articulations, although it's also, I think it was also in uh, Love It Forward. Um, let me read the quote and talk about it. It's really aligning with what I'm doing with encodings right now. Um, sometimes the people with the greatest potential often take the longest to find their path because their sensitivity is a double-edged sword. It lives at the heart of their brilliance, but it also makes them more susceptible to life's pains. Good thing we aren't penalized for handing in our purpose late. The soul doesn't know a thing about deadlines. Let me do it again. Sometimes the people with the greatest potential often take the longest to find their path because their sensitivity is a double-edged sword. It lives at the heart of their brilliance, but it also makes them more susceptible to life's pains. Good thing we aren't being penalized for handing in our purpose late. The soul doesn't know a thing about deadlines. So in this particular quote, I'm focusing on really two things. The first is that um, the soul exists on a timeline all its own, which is my belief. Um, I really believe the soul travels through time. Um, and, and I really do believe that it reaches a stage in terms of its own uh, movement towards wholeness or actualization or whatever you want to call it, where it doesn't have to return here anymore. And I'm, I'm working on this conversation with God, um, a book called um, Where Has God in All of This? That will be ready probably in January or something. And, you know, I'm kind of getting into the nitty gritty of this and trying to get an understanding of how this really works. Um, so leaving aside the question of whether it's God or creation or some part of me that's I'm having the conversation with, it doesn't matter right now. What matters is that the emphasis is on a soul traveling through time and the way in which it moves towards wholeness is in relation to a particular group of encodings that live at the heart of its potential in each incarnation, okay? In this quote, so I focus on that, the soul doesn't know a thing about deadlines, right? So in the survivalist world, in the structured world, in the pragmatic world that we live in, there are deadlines. Um, you really have to kind of know who you are if you're in that system pretty early. You know, that's why they ask you, what are you going to do when you grow up? Because it meant something in a survivalist world for you to make those decisions earlier. There was a benefit to it if you define success by reference to that kind of a structure and system. If you define success in relation to the soul's movement towards something called wholeness, in a distracted world, in a materialistic world, in a survivalistic world, in a um, world that is inherently designed in various ways to keep you away from your sovereignty, your uniqueness, your individuation, your soul's knowing, where even the notion of, you know, um, the soul's knowing is sort of vaguely called intuition but never really given a real name and never really honored as something so remarkable and so profound and so fundamental to who you are and why you're here in this lifetime. So in this quote, I focus on the sensitivity piece. It lives at the heart of your brilliance, but it also makes you more susceptible to life's pain. So that's when I wrote that, I was thinking about my sensitive aspect, not all of who I am, but part of who I was and how that couldn't seem to assimilate to the harshness of the world. Um, and it was, as a result, it took a long time to, a longer time to reach a place of clarity as to who I was and what I was to do in this lifetime. Um, I don't exactly see it that way anymore. I feel like I put more of it now onto the sociology of the world, where the world's at and our inability to honor subtlety, um, and sensitivity to feeling because see for me the soul expressed itself through sensation and feeling it wasn't a cerebral construct i could spend forever thinking about who am i in this lifetime why am i here in this lifetime it didn't get me anywhere the only time i made progress is when i could go into this body into my cavern into release and clear emotional debris so there'd be more clarity on the other side um, 
and also through the releasing of emotional debris, through the strengthening of that release, the maturation that came with acknowledging my stuff and stuff that had to move through me, I was more likely to mature in the spiritual realm and be more capable of finding and excavating my path and honoring and actualizing that path at the same time. I'm saying a lot, I know. Um, but let me go back to the quote. Sometimes the people with the greatest potential, okay, because encodings are really potentialities, right, of a particular form. When I, when I bring the model out um, publicly, I'll be more specific as to what encodings are. But sometimes the people with the greatest potential often take the longest to find their path. That's true. I'm going to reframe the rest. Because we live in a world that is designed to keep it hidden from us, right? Um, good thing we aren't being penalized for handing in our purpose late. The soul doesn't know a damn thing about deadlines. Um, the soul doesn't give a shit about deadlines, basically. So if you're somebody who is feeling, as many feel, like you haven't found something called your path or something called your purpose, uh, you know, or all the various aspects of you that are longing to be actualized just can't, you're inside of your protection all the time. You're inside of your distraction all the time. You're not able to really um, bring to the surface the feeling of what your calling is, the archetypes that you're here to work through, an awareness of what you're here to process. Um, do not waste one second beating yourself up about this. Please don't. It's a waste of time. It just it moves the process in the, in the wrong direction, first of all. And secondly, it's, it's not deserved. Um, we are still a species that's trapped and being deliberately trapped inside of survivalist constructs, survivalist ways of defining ourselves based on our adaptations, our disguises, our notion of career and the personality that flows from that. The real reasons why we're here, the brilliance of the soul and what the soul longs to be expressed as in this lifetime. Nobody taught us about this. System's not set up for this. The power brokers don't want you anywhere near this because you'll become so sovereign, so powerful, so individuated that you'll see through everything. So stay on the journey. Hopefully when I bring encodings through, I'm going to bring practices and processes that will be useful to you. Um, and this isn't a sales job. I really feel like I found something with this. Um, I mean, I've even got a shirt. Susan got me a shirt. Um, so last lines again. Good thing we aren't being penalized for handing in our purpose slate. The soul doesn't give a shit about deadlines. So keep the faith and keep doing the work.